or show you my way of getting into downward dog. I like to start with my, my seat in child's pose because there is how I can find the measurement of how far my feet need to be away from my hands. Whenever we're in down dog or any pose where our hands are articulating to the floor, we want to spread our fingers wide like rays of the sun. Sit back in your child's pose and then let your forehead come down to the floor. Reach your hands way, way out in front of you, crawling your fingers out. From this position, rock up. You'll find that you're in an awkward table. Your hands are not under your shoulder blades like we would in a perfect tabletop. With the fingers spread as wide as you can, tuck your toes under and float your hips up. At this point, your toes are on the floor, but your heels are up. Inhale, and as you exhale, sink your chest down to the floor. Make sure that your toes are spread wide. And then once you feel stable, you can walk your heels into the floor, letting yourself settle into it, and then ease down into your downward dog. When we're in down dog, we want the elbows to face one another, and that'll give us stability too, and open up space in the shoulders.